Well, good morning and welcome to the Off Grid Homestead where I have been busy just trying to sort out my workshop here, get everything out of the sea container into here as well as out of the cabin and into here. Huge job, trust me when I say that. But what I want to look at in this video is solar panel shading and when it is not a problem. But first, we're going to have a look at a little issue I've just fixed with one solar panel. So my 12 volt test system in the workshop here is fed from this 200 watt solar panel and it just pretty well comes along here, along this cable. It's 6 mil line but it's got a, a bit of a distance to run to get up into the corner of the shed there. So I was getting some volt drop by the time it got into the shed and I was getting about 4.5 amps into the controller. So what I've done is I've series these together, so they're 22 volt output and they're paralleled. So I've broken the line and then I've just series those together. So we've now got about 44 or 45 volts getting pushed into the power shed. And let's have a look at the difference it's made. So looking at the 12 volt system, so we're focusing on the 12 volt system. I was getting about 4.5 amps coming in, but now you can see that I've upped the voltage, I'm getting about 5.7 amps in. So I'm getting an extra 1.2 odd amps, roughly, just by upping that voltage. So we can see our voltage from the panel is 1.3, uh, sorry, 43 volts at 1.8 amps. And then that is coming in to the batteries, scaling that down through its MPPT and going to 5.6 amps. So the higher the input voltage you can get coming in to the controller, the more efficient the controllers will work at. So when I do a video and I get up on the roof of my uh, workshop or get up on the roof of the um, cabin or any solar panel, if there's any shading on that panel, always I get someone saying that there's shading on the panel, the system's not gonna work, you need to move the panels, or you need to cut the trees down. I've had quite a bit of that. I'm gonna show you where the shading comes from, when I've got shade, when I don't, and, and when that becomes a problem. So first up, we'll look at our power shed, and the cabin pretty well much is the same. So in the morning, the sun, you can see it there, that is east, and the sun is coming up from the east, and this tree here is putting a bit of shade on the panels on the roof of my workshop. Now the sun will come over and then can be in complete sun, the panels will be in complete sun and during, throughout the day it will travel around and travel around and then it gets to about four o'clock in the afternoon in the west this tree here starts to cast a shadow onto the workshop. Now if you're grid tying shading is a problem because you want to get as much sun on your panels as possible for as long as possible so you can feed back into the grid and get credits back on your bill that's if that's how your system works where you are but when you're off grid it's not as much of a problem because as long as you get your batteries charged up during the daytime and after that we're just coasting. So if we've got a little bit of extra shade in the morning, a little bit of extra shade in the afternoon, it's not going to matter because we've got our batteries fully charged during the day. So let's go into the power shed where we've got the 48 volt system that runs the cabin. So we're going to have a look at the two controllers. So they're both sitting on the bulk stage, so they're not fully charged yet. The battery's not fully charged. There's our voltage and, oh, come on, phone. There's our voltage and the amperage. I'm having trouble getting the phone to get, there we go. And in this controller, we've got our voltage and amperage on that. So both strings are the same strings. So both, both strings on the roof of the cabin are equal voltage and wattage panel strings, if you can get what I'm getting at. So you can see they're both working pretty well much the same. So where are we sitting at in the state of charge? On these batteries. So I have my laptop here where I've logged into the VRM portal. Now I don't know how well this is going to come across because of the sun glare coming in through the door but you can pretty well get the idea. We're sitting at 81% battery so these batteries won't take long to be charged because we're bringing in two kilowatts worth of power 
at quarter to nine in the morning. So you can see that's plenty of power coming in. A few moments later. So I'm going to jump ahead to 11.30 in the morning and we can see that our batteries are now sitting at 100%. Now if I can just scroll down a little bit and try and keep the phone nice and steady, we can see that our batteries became 100% at around about 10.30 in the morning. So that means if we have a little bit of shading on our solar panels in the morning, it's not really going to be a problem because at 10.30, we are already at 100% state of charge on our batteries. Now I will leave a link in the description. I will leave a link in the description. Really? We're we going to have two bloopers. Now I'll leave a link below in the description so you can view this system through the VRM portal. And how that works is this little box here is the Servo GX. And what that does is that talks to all of the controllers, the shunt, the inverter, and it uploads all that information to the VRM portal where I can have access to it and then see what my system's doing, as well as log in and change settings and everything into the system. Now you can view this as well. You're not gonna be able to log in and change settings. We, we definitely don't want that, but you can view the system and I've got the link below. So click on that and you'll be able to see the system and go through the menus and look at the history and, and everything about how the system's been going throughout the several years that this has been, in fact, five years or whatever it is that this has been running. So there you have today's video on when it's important and when it's not important to worry about shading on solar panels. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, I'll leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next video here on the Off Grid Homestead.